In this video, I will show you how to make acrylic window inserts. Notice the insert in the window. Hard to see from distance. The first step is laser measure and take three measurements, one on the top, and one in the middle, and one on the bottom. And then again, going from the side, one on the left, one on the middle, one on the bottom. I recommend entering your measurements into Excel. As you can see, this window was 27 inches across on top and 27 and 1 16 on the bottom. The height of the window was 44 and 1 16 varying to 44 and 1 8 This is what I would use around the window. And it flexes from 3 eighths of an inch to 3 16 of an inch. We'll use those calculations with what we put earlier into Excel to determine the exact measurements to get the acrylic cut. Going back to the measurements, take your minimum measurement for each side. So for this, it will be 27, and then minus off the 3 16 of an inch. You can do the same on the bottom. Your widest will be the 1 8th and minus off 3 16 Below I have pasted graphically that the minimum the weather stripping can go is 3 16 and the maximum it can fit is 3 8 This allows you a cushion of 3 16 of an inch. If your windows vary by more than that much, you'll have an extra complicated project either get your acrylic cut on an angle or use different types of weather stripping. It's slightly thinner and as it comes down the weather stripping naturally expands to fit the gaps. I used a thicker rubber type solution on the bottom. I would not recommend doing this. It does not compress and therefore it could leave small gaps. I would recommend using the weather stripping I showed earlier due to its flexibility. The next step is going to be to order the plastics from a local supplier. If you live in a city or a large metropolitan area, it's a simple Google search. You could call them and find one that will work with you. I'd recommend having them make the cuts because they have machines and machines don't make mistakes. This is uh, paper covered board. It's 3 8 inch thick cut acrylic. It weighs, this is the measurements I showed you, it weighs about 17 pounds. And it's covered with paper when you first get it. And you could just pull the paper back to expose the acrylic. Uh, note when you're buying, you'll likely have to make it out of a 4x8 sheet. I found these relatively inexpensive. My total cost was roughly 80 to 100 bucks a window. The next part is to actually put the weather stripping on the sides of the acrylic sheet. The nice part of this tubing is the shape. Here's an example. You can see that from the bottom portion, will push into the window and the flat portion will stick out. When you're putting this around, do the long sides first and then cap off the top second. This will help the weather stripping from peeling off when you put it in the window. Here's an example. I have side number one on and moving over, I have side number two. Take a pair of scissors, do this with one hand here, cut. Take a pair of scissors over here, do the same. And then you'll put a second strip going across. Uh, I want to emphasize, don't try to put one thing of weather stripping all the way around the window, as it will leave all your corners open, which will let in drafts. 
Okay, here's the final piece. I left a little suction cup so I remember which way is going to go into the window because you don't want to have your weather stripping facing different directions. One of the flaws of the weather stripping is as you unroll the coil, the parts near the middle are a little mushy. So just keep that in mind when you're buying is you probably won't be able to use the last six inches of each piece. This is a pair of suction cups I ordered off of Amazon for somewhere between 10 to $15. It helps installing because these are really awkward to use and since everything is tension based, to get the extra grip on the acrylic helps tremendously. So check this out. I put the suction cup on. Boom. One hand. You can pick it up. Here's a moment to talk about where you want to put the inserts. You want to be as far as possible away from the window, creating as much dead air space. Ideally, that would mean putting the frame here as opposed to here as opposed to here. Uh, you're sort of wasting your time if you try to go right up in the window and make a third pane because you have not enough air space. The problem with most windows, if you look up, is you likely have some sort of blinds. So for most of the windows, I had to use this as my area, which creates a decent amount of air space up top. But for this window, since we have the room, I'm going to slide it up here, which adds another half an inch or so. Do not underestimate the importance of dead air space. The window is in. I could push it in farther here, but as I said earlier, the extra air space is helpful. And you can see it tracks in along an angle and fits snugly right up to the top. So overall, after having the windows in, I've noticed a couple benefits. The first is the amount of drafts have reduced to almost zero. I used a thermometer. Covered window was 8 to 10 degrees warmer than the uncovered window. And this is not a particularly cold day. We're looking at maybe a 30 degree day. Other benefit I've noticed after putting them in is that it's a lot quieter in the room. The, uh, you notice when you first put in the window, it's almost like you're shutting a second window. And there's just a lot less street noise. And, you know, you don't hear the wind as much. You don't hear the birds chirping. So it really seals things.